Hello and welcome back to I the Somnium Files. I'm in the menu because uh, I'm pretty sure it jumps right in. And I couldn't save right away. I'm just gonna use the auto save, just just in case. Uh, in the last one we almost got killed. Yep. And then we got Iris to safety, then we went to into her somnium and learned about Nizet's laws. Something like that. Secret society. And bosses little suspicious. Oh. Well, I could have done that. And we're back what? to MoMA. You stayed at a hotel with Tessa? <clears throat> mm -hmm. It was a business hotel. It was a two-bed room. <gasps> Don't say misleading things. <laughs> we got two rooms, each with two beds. We did bathe together, though. No, we didn't. What? Okay. Isn't your gang supposed to be clean? Why are you here, anyway? I don't remember. I told Moma about the attack by Nazet's Laws. Nazet's Laws. I see. I Nazet's heard Laws. about the shooting in Golden Yokocho last night, but I never thought it'd be you. Mm -hmm. Yep, it was us. How's, how's your office doing? Yep, still, still, still got that stuff. Good old stuff. We're going through really huh? fast. Huh? Huh? Partish? Um. That's a stretch. Okay. Uh. Oh no! I made a mistake. Okay, there are lanterns. Hey, Iris. Yep. What does a candle remind you of? Um, fire? Anything else? What, like a dick? I wasn't asking you. Does anyone have a normal, like, mind in this game? Even Boss tells dirty jokes. Pewter. Pewter seems normal. He's my favorite. There's something about this that's so black. It's like... How much more black could this be? None. Kind of looks none more black. Looks lo looks very silver, ish gray. It could be a hell of a lot more black. Okay, locker, window, all good. No, no more conversation. Always reply after reading. Yeah. Twenty fourth nursing home magic show. What do you guys do? How's school? School? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? What are you, dense? Tessa was almost kidnapped. Exactly. She can't be going to school now. I, I, I agree. Guess that's true, but. But there is no but. You want to call your mom? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worrying. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. Okay. How about Renju? Maybe Mr. Okiro was a part of Nice. What? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... He was looking for Iris. Okay. And then later, I almost got kidnapped by Nice. That does make sense. Was that just a coincidence? No. And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Whoever killed me in that world was probably affiliated with Nice. That makes me think the Okiaras and Nice are connected. I feel like he's on the other end of it. Maybe Okira is not bad, but boss is bad? I don't know. 
Maybe Nai's ordered Mr. Okiara to help number 89 escape. And number 89 is an assassin. If he wanted to get rid of me, Mr. Okiara must have... If that's true, it could be related to Shoko's murder. Shoko must have found out about the organization. He killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. It all come back to nice. Uh, once we solve the mystery of Nizet's laws, uh, everything else will fall into place. Or so I thought. If you want to know more about Nize, why not ask Ota? Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? No. <laughs> I know about conspiracies and secret societies, too. I find that stuff fascinating. Well, uh, I guess we'll go ask him. Point. He might have more information for us. Okay. Where are your lackeys? When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. I can't let them see me with Tessa. Okay, okay. About nice it's lost. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? Okay, I kind of believe them. Yes! That smirk. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> I've always known deep down there must be some kind of secret organization. Always known it. Always. Parallel worlds and all that shit. Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Okay. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They're they not must good have at been the job. Guns. Uh, by... Niza... Mattis. I don't believe nice it. Laws. I can't get it right either. About oh, Renju. Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. Yeah? What is it? I'll tell you, but... Uh... Date, come over here. No. Again with this? This is... Date goes in a corner the game. With his armor over my shoulder, Momo led me to the corner of the room. Everyone just leads me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Date, but you gotta do something for me. Mm hmm You wanna shake your hand again? No, 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 I, I did that already. You want a hug? I want to see her panties. That's a big jump. I'm sorry? I, I, I wanna see Tessa's panties. I really, really, really wanna see... I don't need your information. Gotta let me get a peek. She's not gonna let you. Well, can you at least ask? Unbelievable. Well, Moma and I went back to where we were. Iris, could you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. This guy wants to see your panties. Oh. She hit me. Hard. <laughs> Messed up, Date. I know Momo would never say that. Yeah, you're right. Right, Momo? Yeah, 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 of course. Date, you evil pervert. Seriously? You just want a handshake, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. Oh, Mama. Iris took Mama's hand and shook it. Date, this, this is the happiest day of my life. Deja vu. I thought that was yesterday. About Renju. Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. What day is it? Friday night. Oh, that was the Shoko murder. was killed. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him. But it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. The police have already thoroughly searched it. And we've been there more than once before on our investigation. But we might have missed something, right? I mean, you only looked at the merry-go-round. He didn't really look around. Nothing? Okay, it doesn't matter. Summarize. There are three places we can go. First, Bloom Park. I'm curious about Renju being seen there Friday. Second, Matsushita Diner. I want to ask Ota about more about Nai's 
Third, the Sajima estate. Sajima was probably the one responsible for Iris' murder in the parallel world. In which case, he might be part of Nai's. I need to confront him. Okay. So. Let's go, Iris. Oh, yeah! You're taking Tessa with you? She'll be uh, safer here! I can't do that. That's true. I made her a promise. I will be Iris' garter belt. Oh, God. Or what? Uh, sorry. I meant bodyguard. A Freudian slip, no doubt. Well, belt. whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. You getting a gun? Give her a gun. Momo opened his desk and took us out a small object. What's this? A GPS transmitter. Momo, Iris's phone already has GPS. I know. But in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Thank you. Well, that's... She took it and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date, if anything happens to her, I'll make sure you regret it for the rest of your life. Okay. It'll be fine. Relax. You done with you? Yeah. She'll be fine. Okay. Uh... Do them in order for once. Why not? Diner. Mizuki. Ota and Mizuki were both in the diner. Nice at loss. I see. It's not impossible. We do know about him. He spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. Oh god, you guys are intimidating. Well Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Yep. Well We're arrested and Mayumi juice. Okay. Hey, Date, do you want this poster? No, not really. You know, if you rub the swimsuit with a coin, you can scrape it off. I'll take it. it. Yeah, I'll throw it away for you. How dare you? Nothing I have Masanori's autograph too, from Shinsen Chatran. Okay. Masanori was here? He knows about this place? It was from a long time ago. Uh. I know I've heard that name in this game. I don't remember. Why? We, we got her now. Yep. Everyone's on what board are you now. Doing? Oh, you don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat in front of one of these. Oh, I see. Okay. Bookshelf. Yep, it's got stickers. Great. Disposable chopsticks. Hey, Tessa, can you stack up those beer cases and stand on top? Then I can get on the floor and, um... Ota? You can't be serious. Where's the fight button? Okay. Mm, I think we're good. Calendar. Yep. What is Box. two arms and a face but no eyes? Hmm. Buddha. What the? <laughs> like. The Buddha. He doesn't have eyes? Have you seen his eyes? But he's not blind. No, of course not. He sees all. Okay. No one no one gets it right. But Nazit's Law. I've Nizet's heard of them. Nizit Laws. Or Nice is a satanic secret society. Like a cult. They sacrifice children. While the sacrifice is up all night screaming, the cult performs ritual acts. Their ranks are full of politicians, 
intellectuals, and business tycoons. They've only been active for a few decades. What? Some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. The An hell? organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Okay. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? But for Nyes, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Hmm. Ota Iris found out oh. just why they're after her. That's, uh... Ota doesn't know about the Wanchet system or its connections to Nice. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. We did follow that path. Where's your mom? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. About Iris. Tessa is... My hopes and dreams. My peace and my life. My light, my star, my sun, my goddess. Check. She's like the loss of the universe itself. The embodiment of beauty. Mm -hmm. An angel, a lover. A cute mascot to put on a body pillow. A guru, a wife, a soulmate. Life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. You Snuck need a hobby. And wife in there. I would ignore it. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Thanks, Ota. Right. That makes me happy. What's going on? Oh. Faded to black for no reason. Why are you here? Well, Ota. Um... Okay. Date, can I? Ota gestured and walked over to the corner of the room, our favorite place. I quietly stood up and followed. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances. Date, okay. can I... What are you talking about? Mizuki, of course. Wait a minute. These are out of order. Look, I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances. Date, can I... Uh... You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaids' houses last night. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. She called me this morning so I could pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Why don't you try being nicer to Mizuki? What? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. I haven't had any options to You should try to understand nice. how she feels. What the hell? I would if when I talked to her it wasn't just grayed out thing nothing. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister, and I kind of envy her. No, stop it! Okay. It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> Do you know where your father is? I probably shouldn't be asking. If you're this. asking me. He's involved in all this, isn't he? Yeah. Is he the culprit? Mm, maybe. Did he really kill mom? Probably not. Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After Mom got killed, he didn't even call. He called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious. But... But... I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in Daddy. I don't know. I, I don't think he did it. 
Uh, we still have to talk to Iris. Are you cold? Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. I'm with space. I just get cold easily. Okay. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Not conditions often considered cold. Well, in a parallel world, she's in an ice warehouse. Oh my god, I said it before I even thought about it. Um. Oh, that's got me thinking. Mizuki is like a cute little sister. And, and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. How much? About three universes worth. But wow. just three universes? That's a lot. What about 271 billion, 828 million, 182,845 universes? Well, I like you double that. Mm. Hey, no fair. Well, uh, that's a lot. Ota? Ota's okay. like my big brother. He's a hero who will help me out of any jam. I don't think he likes that. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. How much? Three Earths worth. What is a little this smaller. indescribable feeling of loss? I mean, three Earths is pretty big, but... Nice, nice. Well, I'd hate to be less than an Earth then. Summarize for me. All right, Iris. Let's get going. What? You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? Okay. I'll come help right away. I. Me too. Bring I'll your... save you no matter what, Iris. Bring your Pikachu. Thank you both. She's got the outfit. Promise me. I promise. She looks sad. Okay, she's trembling. I don't know why I said that. Like, she said she was cold, and then we're like, it's not cold in here, and immediately, parallel world, frozen, solid, knives in the back, warehouse, Iris. She's, she's feeling it. I, I swear, that's, that's totally what's going on right now. Sejima. <clears throat> There's no one in the garden. Oh yeah, where's guard B? So must be inside. He's our Wait. buddy. I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. Merman? Or what, what do we call you? Nobody's around? What? Small island is Kojima in Japanese. Is it? The director Kojima? He's here? It honestly wouldn't be that weird for him, but he's not there. It wouldn't be that weird for him. Hiding under a cardboard box somewhere. Topiary. Oh, if four connect, they disappear. Oh. oh okay, they're over there. Mansion. No one is inside. Yep. So why is Hitomi over there? What? Where's the life signal coming from? Oh. Yeah. Well, okay, this is a very empty is area. Is that Mr. Bridges? Who? I don't know. I don't know. Zoom. Oh, I have to click. <laughs> That's so. Next to him is. Hitomi? It looks that way. Why? What's Hitomi doing with so? Good question. Date? What's wrong? You're. Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about them. You said them. you don't know Sosujima, right? Right, I don't. 
What about your mom? Does she know so? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Really? It was at that moment, two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. They had panicked looks on their faces. We told you, you can't come in here! You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. Get lost. No use pushing it. If they called HQ, we would get arrested for sure. And what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? Nice is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. Guard A. I can't risk being caught. Then I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. Let's go, Iris. Yeah. Oh, you're just kicking me out. All right, back to Bloom Park. I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. I don't exactly know what we're looking for here. There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I wanted I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I can keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I've thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Wanna race, Date? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You did. You want to challenge me? Well, sure. Yeah, let's do it! Okay. We'll start here and end here. So, we race around the merry-go-round? Right! Have fun! Line up next to me! Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go! Ready, set, go! I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I had already I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. Ooh, she is fast. Well, See? Told you. Tate is Iris an old man. Is the messenger of the gods. You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Yeah. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet. And that one is the moon. Hmm. I forgot about that. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Or Hor Horus Horus's left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does that have any relation to with the Wajet system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. Mm -hmm. I used to call him Uncle. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with Aset too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. Hmm, it's a bench. Can I? No. I'm very much not interested in anything besides the conversation right now. It looks pathetic. Oh. Okay, yeah, there's nothing going on. Uh, about the Eye of Wajet. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? Osiris's little brother is Set, and his son is Horus. This Set was an awful guy. One day he tricked and killed Osiris by trapping him in a coffin. So naturally, Horus didn't take that well. Drats! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set! On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. 
Oh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war. And so a bloody war broke out, just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? They would huh. disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. What the? In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Set's foot and Wee Wee. Wee Wee? I believe she is referring to a male. Yep. Wait, why are you asking me? Mature adult. But Horus Call didn't wee -wee. come out of this unscathed. During the battle, Horus lost his left eyeball to Set. It said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Mm -hmm. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude. <laughs> All right, I'll use my moon power to heal you up. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thoth. Okay, here it goes. Moon healing power. Ring, ring, ring. Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in. Zoom, click. Horus got his eye back. She's, she's actually telling him pretty well. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the eye of Providence. Yes. And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? Probably, yeah. The all-seeing eye. Interesting. About Aset. Horus's mom is named Isis. But in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Ise or Ase. Oh. Hmm. How do I explain this? I told you about Horus's dad, Osiris. His mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Yep. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. That's what I told you earlier. But there's more to it. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it in the river. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her. Because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. Yep. If that's how it's going to be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkrr! And so, Osiris was revived! Yay! Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. Hmm. I actually know this story for once. <laughs> I think I get the picture. But what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And hmm. Isis sounded like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Her uncle's definitely number 89. And whoever else was there that broke in and imprisoned... Imprisoned him or led to their imprisonment. I bet he's with Nyes. I don't know. I'm making random guesses. Maybe, maybe I'm completely wrong. How did you get so fast? I told you yesterday. I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? About three months ago... Mr. Ogira told me something. He said that I can't dance. Why? I don't know. He said something about being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. 
You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. Gotta fix those flat but notes. During your live stream. She was dancing. Because I was sad. After I stopped dancing, I lost so many fans. They said terrible things to me, like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. Uh, All those I aren't have fans. is dancing. Just dancing. No point in having fans that would even think about saying that. In the end, we didn't find anything new about uh, new information about Renju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. We we covered all the places, so I am going to save quick. Okay. Um. Where are we going to marble? Is there is this a disgust? Where are we going next? Marble, Golden Yokocho. Wasn't like a... that where we were attacked by Nice? Yeah. It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. Besides, they wouldn't ambush us in the same place twice. But why marble? They seem no pretty dumb. I just need to talk to Mama. Hmm? Okay. Oh, no interactions. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no. Don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout right in front of the bar. Yeah. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. It was crazy. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. And watching porn. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. Yep. yep. Wait a minute. Yep. I told Mama about last night and about Nizet Nizet laws. Too. No, I'm gonna like, Iris, stutter on that every time. Let me introduce you to Mama's little sister. That's a fridge. Mm. Yeah, at least they didn't refer to refer to you, is it? There's music playing over the radio. Picture on the wall. Blackboard. Hey Date, it says beignet custard oh, on the board. What is that? I think it's written wrong. It's supposed to be vernier thrusters. Mama, you better order them quick or we won't be able to control the rocket. I know, I know. I'll have the vernier thrusters ready tomorrow. Uh, reference is lost on me. How oh, I learned to stop worrying and love the bum. You do you. Uh, posters are done. You've really gotten off the, the sofa bandwagon when it comes to puns. Hmm. Guess you can only take the joke so far. Okay, that was bad. What a drink. Want a drink. No, I'm okay. What should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. It is not well known, but dried bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and dried, which attracts a particular mold as it ages. It takes between three to four mold attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. I, I don't like Mama that. Mama is cleaning off the mold right now. <sighs> what do you think of Mama? She's hmm? a delight. <laughs> No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? No. Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Date, 
I need a body so I can work here immediately. What do you need with money? You won't get hired. Okay. Introduce oh. Iris. Sorry for the late introduction. This is Iris. Nice to meet you. I'm Aset, you bet. Oh, sorry, habit. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Mm -hmm. Are you a virgin? You are, right? What? Oh, well, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. Hi, bye. Oh, you don't say. Why, Mama? Calm down. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must have hired them. About Nice at all. Sorry, Nizet's honey, laws. but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. Okay. Summarize. Uh, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And boss. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well, I did tell one person. Oh. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Futa Amanoma. <gasps> oh. <gasps> what? Uh, Peter? That's... Oh my god, the only person who doesn't tell dirty jokes? Mm. I don't know what's going on. I was blaming boss. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. Didn't he make no, the sink machine too? Be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. Date, your intuition is correct. I am detecting a living organism nearby. I knew it. That's just Iris. Oh, he's in a locker. Why is he hiding? There's that bastard. Is he being attacked? Peter probably told Boss. Wait a minute! Uh, okay! I'll tell you everything. You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Did you help number 89 get away? How much does she know? Just answer the question. Yes, I did. It's been bothering me. How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, Pewter. You just stay right there. Never trust a guy with a popped collar. I'm not. Oh, okay. Good. The door to the sink room. Hey, you don't, don't, what? What is going on with the camera? Okay, we're done here. Well, done, done fucking around. Introduce. Oh, this is Pewter. Oh, uh, hi. Nice to meet you. 
Hello. I'll have to give you my card later. I have a feeling that if I reached to my pocket, I would get my head blown off. Nah. Reassure. Sorry you had to see this. It's fine. But don't worry. I won't kill him. Then can I leave? Sure. If you don't mind me breaking every one of your fingers. Maybe he would. Then keep. I'd rather not. What's that cat I've always on wondered your waist? This. The cat on your waist. Right now, is, is that, that important? Oh, this? It's Bastet. Bastet? Oh. A cat goddess. Why mm -hmm. are you asking me now? Good question. Mm, about the escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? I was conflicted. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he oh. sounded like he was on death's doorstep. He was begging for help. I couldn't say no. With my intelligence, I was quickly able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. So that's what it's about. You're not with us. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Okay. Why was Boss not there? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Okay, boss. Friends from my college days. Less I asked one of them to call up the Boss. Okay. Why did Renju escape with him? I don't know. It's true. Please, oh. believe me. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. About that watch. Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes. That's true. There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Pewter help Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. Where is he? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Aiba. Oh, and no. You don't get it? Date, his hands! That Jump out of his eye! Date! <sighs> no. Come with me. Uh-oh. I didn't even think about that. I don't know what's happening. Damn it, Pewter! Oh, Date, she's... calm down or it will compromise your ability to drive. I thought if she's self-destructed. She will not be able to save Iris. Where is she? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. Then... It's just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Iba, call moment now. On it. 
Mama. Hey, Dante. What's up? He's gonna be angry. I explained the situation as fast as I could. Tessa. Tessa got kidnapped. Dante, you bastard. That's. I know. I know. Yell at me later. Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. God damn it! After a short pause, Mama yelled out. Koto, Ariake, Harbor Warehouse District. What? That's where the cold storage warehouse is. That's where I saw Iris's dead body. Oh boy. Hey, are you listening? I've got it, thanks. Oh. I'm on my way there too. Okay. Is stuff is stuff actually happening? Harbor Warehouse District. Okay, how many porn mags do we have to throw? This looks... What the... They got this place covered. Hello? Okay. Thought it froze. Oh! Uh, night vision. Just Those are the something. guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting okay. through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. Um. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Um, do I need to do that? Those are like the only two things I can look at, so. Oh, it actually zooms into that spot. Or no, it doesn't. What the? I guess zoom in to what? Just look at it. Now's the perfect time to use Ibis functions. Is I missing something here? Nope. 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 Okay. Okay. Nothing over there. No green showing up. Can I move? That'd be sweet. Nope. I'm stuck here. This is not very obvious. It can be moved and erected very easily. It just takes me right to this spot. Okay. So am I am I missing something? Okay. Okay. All right, game. Oh, the armed men, right. I can zoom in on them. We were done here, too, though. Yep, there are tons of men. Portable. Are you serious? Something. Are you kidding me? That tiny little... I, I couldn't even see that. It was so small. That's... It's Iris. 
she okay? Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. Yeah. All right, let's do this! Hold on, are you dense? They're gonna blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah, and not just one or two. They all have assault rifles, and they're everywhere. And you didn't break back You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <sighs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark, and I have x-ray vision. Oh, shit, you were serious? I nodded, then told him about the rest. That Iris was in the van at the end of the harbor. And that there were two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Okay. Uh, that appears to be a military-grade all-terrain vehicle. You didn't oh my, bring that. That vehicle? Did he? That's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. I thought you were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose okay. that makes sense, in a way. Oh, shit. What? Uh, I guess one? What, what, what did you want to ask? The jack off who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? I told Momo, uh, Moma about the Renju and Pewter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at an Okiura fishery warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. Me too. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura fishery cold storage warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. Tessa's in the like van down there, there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Hmm. I relayed. Damn. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. So, what's the plan? Uh, well. While I was coming up with a plan, a car emerged from the darkness. That Ota. Seems like an Ota's mom van. How did I know? Mizuki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? I sent Iba. a denial message to both of them. Why? Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? Oh, he did. He did keep no his. What, Iris? Keep his promise. Promise me. I promise. Date broke his promise. A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Uh. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. And Ota? Perhaps he can be used as a shield. Now that's cruel, even for me. Uh, Date? Who are the- Don't oh, call oh. me a kid! I keep hitting that. Who's the old man? I sighed and shook my head and made introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a neat who's trying to get his light novel published? What good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. Ooh. Yeah, you're all short and scrawny. Ooh. Shut up, I'm not short. The earth is just big. That argument is fallacious. And you're short too. No way. This isn't even my final form. Mm -hmm. All my joints are folded up. I can get three times bigger than this. Liar! Oh. This went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at Listen them. Listen up, you idiots. 
You're here because you're all ASET fans. Okay. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET. Fears. Upset. Regret. ASET. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASET. No, oh, Date, don't finish it. Hey! Yes, yeah! yes. Okay. All right. Let's work together and get our Tessa back. Yeah. yeah. This is our time to unite. Let's show them what we're made of. Yeah. Shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart, we stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none. Yeah. Oh no. It seems they've already become good friends. Iris has extraordinary power. Good. It's working. I explain the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry. They can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gunman you can see. Whoa. You got it! And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're gonna need your powers. Leave it to me. Powers. Hey, Dante! What are you gonna have her do? She might not look it, but she's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. What? You sure about this? Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your jobs. This is how we get through. I got questions. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, let's lock and load. This is We're this coming is, for you, Tessa! Seems like a long one, thing. Three. One, two, three, go! And so Operation Iris Rescue began. Well, I'm, unless this is automatic, I'm gonna have to split this one. <laughs> Tank? All right. Sure. Let's do this. Kill him! Ooh. Damn. There's too many of them. I don't think my rifle can handle this many. I have to think of something. Just drive right through. Okay, that's probably a terrible idea. It looked like he threw something in that vision. Yate. I have a plan. Is it a good plan? Just listen. You still have that pornographic magazine, right? Oh my god. Don't act innocent. Are we really doing this? Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. How did you know? I'm your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. These are the worst villains case, if they fall for it. Again. No. Throw Why it. not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. Date, you're the. Throw it away. You're just as bad as that. So what is more important to you, Iris or Eros? Arrow. Hmm. <sighs> Iris. Good. Hurry, they're closing in. Oh uh, uh, wait, can't can't we? Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, escape left. Take this! Oh, he's, he's like crying about it. What? I don't care if Could I die. I gotta see. Legendary! Oh, this is amazing. No one back home will believe me. You guys are idiots. So dumb. 
You can go buy your own porn if you get paid for doing your damn job. Now, shoot the drum. <laughs> Now's no time for crying. The drum contains flammable liquids. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Fine, I got it. No choice. Everyone's a little too uh, horny in this. Apparently. Oh, I thought it wasn't gonna blow. Uta, on it. I mean, it probably shouldn't, but. Going really slow. Okay. Oh, great. We have to get through all three points. There's still more of them. And no more oil drums to blow up. There's a crate. I'm at my limit here. Wait. Shoot the crane. Iba, any ideas? Oh, God, okay. Hmm. Let me see. It's gonna be the crane. Do you have more porn magazines? Date, last night, you picked up something else, didn't you? What the? I told you, don't oh act innocent. Oh my god. I'm talking about the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. I needed it as evidence. Uh huh. Enough with your pathetic excuses. Just aim under the container. No. Damn it, Date. I, I was gonna I get this to Rika as a gift. Oh my God. Someone else's underwear. Wine and underwear are best when aged. That's a famous saying in France. That is not true. Dante, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble. Yep. No, we're, we're just going to turn around, let her die. Because someone wants to keep their bra and panties. Dante! To give okay, to someone. Okay, okay. just got to throw it, right? Yeah. Oh, Dante. Escape, escape left again. Escape right. <gasps> Goodbye! What the hell? I mean, it is, it, it is funny, but... This must be a gift from heaven! So wet. As wet as it gets. So dirty. But it's so bad. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. And there's seven guys right there. Seven guys Good. just give that up shooting well. to stare at some underwear. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. Mm -hmm. I see it. I could shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Yeah. Then let's go. Do it. Okay. It's a weird way to do it. I... Oh shit, move! You got really lucky. Or did they all fall in the water? Okay. Let's go. Roger. Are any more porn? The last one. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Find them. My turn. What? <laughs> Wait, Miss Luke. What the hell are you doing? Okay, she's just running towards bullets. Oh, that idiot! What? Date, 
Shang. Mizuki can't do this alone. I don't even. Know. What what is she doing? Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up. Um. So Mizuki just runs at enemies and and punches them while they're shooting her. That's her superpower. I didn't realize she was so, uh, so much of a badass. What the hell? Seriously? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm confused too. <laughs> Don't test me, motherfucker! Of course, these guys wouldn't be able to hit anything. They probably never held a gun in their life. Yeah, Ota. <laughs> Mizuki. You, you were that far away. He even shot his gun and still missed. I mean, that's it's, it's great. But how bad can you be? Oh. Thank you. Renju needs to hire someone who... I don't know. My goddess, go. your chariot has arrived. Okay. Ota, mission complete. All right, got it. All right. Oh, I thought he was going to Was this planned? The erotic legend of Atlantis? After that, we split up and booked it. Mama got behind the wheel of this vehicle. Moma got her behind the wheel of his vehicle, and Ota took the van, and I got my own car. Mizuki went with Ota, and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. Oh, okay, we're, we're at a stop point, I think. Yeah, I was being I was being a little critical, a little too critical of that. But you have to admit that that was ridiculous. Those guys those guys were the worst villains I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure they they'd never even held a gun or left their house or seen a girl in their life. Something something like that. Yeah. So, wasn't much of a threat, <laughs> despite having, you know, 50 guys with assault rifles. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Prisoner 89 will be a little more deadly. <laughs> I don't think he'd be phased by porn. Maybe. But, we'll, we'll have to see. We're already a little bit over, but, yeah. I think we're coming to a close on one of these chapters. I feel like this one will reach an end and I'll be able to branch off and do the other one, maybe. I mean, we're we're revealing a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know where we're at. But we'll find out soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.